Hello everyone and welcome to the channel so in this video we are going to add some coins to our game as you can see when I hit play we have these coins that we can pick them up and also we are going to create this UI text that shows the number of coins so without further ado let's get started first let's start by creating the coin in the hierarchy right click 3d object and let's choose a cylinder then let's reset the transform and let's move the coin a little bit so let's go to the scene view and see how it looks like I'm going to change the Y scale to 0.1 and also I'm going to move it along the Z axis so that we can see it over here and let's change the rotation around the Z axis to 90 degrees now to see the coin how it will look like in the game view let's drag and drop one of the tiles as you can see over here we need to move it a little bit to the top so I'm going to move it by one along the Y axis and uh, let's rename this to coin and let's also change the color of this coin under materials right click create and let's create a new material for our coin and let's call this coin as well and I'm going to choose a yellow color then drag and drop this coin material inside the coin and you see it over here right now now we are going to create a C-sharp script that is going to rotate the coin around the x-axis which is the red one so to do that let's go to the uh, scripts folder and over here right click create C-sharp script and let's call this coin then double click it to open it up in Visual Studio now to rotate the coin let's go under the update method we are going to use transform dot rotate and we are going to rotate the uh, coin around the x axis and let's rotate it by 20 each second and let's multiply this by time the delta time and let's leave the X and the Y rotation to zero now let's save this and uh, go back into unity and let's drag and drop the coin script inside the coin now when you select it you see that the script is over here now when you hit play you see that the coin is rotating around the X axis and you can see it over here in the same view but as you can see the player collides with the coin you see it over here so we need to uh, make sure that the collider of the coin is triggered so select the coin then go under here make sure that you check is trigger now when you hit play again you see that the player can pass through the coin now we are going to check if the player triggered the coin we are going to uh, increase the number of coins to do that let's go back to the coin script and over here we are going to use on trigger enter method this is going to be called when something triggered the coin and over here we are going to check if that collider is the player so if other dot tag equals the player in this case we are going to increase the number of coins and destroy the coin so let's use the destroy method game object so this is going to destroy the coin but also we need to increase the number of coins that the player has and to do that we are going to create a new variable in the player manager script so let's open the player manager script under the scripts we have this over here and let's declare a new static variable public static and it's going to be an int and let's call this number of coins then let's uh, put this by default as 0 so let's change the value to 0 by default when we start the game then over here in the coin script when the player triggered the coin we are going to increase the variable using player manager dot number of coins plus equals 1 now let's save this 
and go back into Unity select the player and over here let's change the type of the player to player so because we didn't create the UI text yet so we are going to use debug.log so over here let's use debug.log and let's uh, put the uh, number of coins using player manager dot number of coins and let's add also a text coins for example then let's save this and uh, go back into unity and hit this run button you see when I tap on the screen I can pick up the coin and you see over here the number of coins in the uh, console now let's create a prefab of this coin so you can do that by dragging and dropping this coin inside the prefabs folder and you can see it over here now let's delete this now we need to add the coin inside the game so we need to add it to the tiles so I'm going to add the coins double click the first tile to open it up and over here let's drag and drop the coin inside the first tile so I'm going to uh, duplicate this also you can put any number of coins you want inside each tile so let's change the, posi uh, the position of this one and also let's create another one and put it over there so I'm going to do that for all the tiles you can do that you know, on your own as you can see when I hit play you see that we have the first tile with uh, some coins and you can pick them up and here you can see the number of coins so I'm going to do that for all the tiles the same thing for this tile just double click it and drag and drop some coins and put them anywhere you want now when you hit play you see that we have many coins inside the game and we can pick them up as you can see right now and you can see here the number of coins but instead of using the uh, debug.log message let's create a UI text that shows the number of coins and to do that let's start by creating a simple UI text so right click UI and let's choose a text then let's put it on the top left corner using shift alt you can select it, this position and you can see it over here now let's change some settings and let's rename this text to coins text and let's change the uh, X position you can play around with these settings and let's also change the font size and the uh, text so let's change this to coins 0 so that we can see how the text looks like and let's change the font size to 25 and also I'm going to change the color to a yellow color you can choose any color you want and let's center this horizontally also let's change the font style to bold and now we need to change the text with the script we are going to put the number of coins over here so to do that let's open the uh, uh, player manager script and add a reference to this text so that we can put the number of coins when you go to the player manager script let's declare over here a new variable so it's going to be a reference for the uh, text and let's make it public text 
But to do that, we need to uh, use the Unity Engine.ui library using Unity Engine.ui. And over here, we can declare the text. And let's call this coins text. Now, in the update method, we are going to change the value of the text. And you can do that by using coins text dot text equals the coins and we are going to add to that the number of coins now let's save this and go back into unity select the player manager script then let's drag and drop the coins text inside the coins text variable over here now let's hit play you see when I tap on the screen I can pick up these coins and we have the number of coins over here in the text you can also change the rotation speed of the coin from the coin script over here so let's change this to 50 for example and let's save this but let's remove this uh, debug that log message now let's save this and go back into unity and let's run the game again you can see over here that the speed is changed so that's pretty much it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it if you have any question or comment feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and uh, have a great day